What's up guys? So today I'm gonna to talk about sales, right? Most people have so much resistance towards selling that they're not as good, they're not reaching their potential. You see, everything is sales. I don't care what job you have, if you have this skill, you're gonna be amazing. You can get rich, you can become a millionaire, a billionaire, whatever it is you desire, you can have. If you have the ability to sell yourself, you could sell ideas, you could sell products, you could sell services, and it allows you to capitalize on money instantaneously. So why do people have so much resistance towards sales? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, you don't believe in your product. You don't believe that it's worth it. So because you don't believe that it's worth it, it's very difficult for you to sell it. That's why I always tell people, if you're in a job and you're selling something that you don't believe in, you're gonna have a hard time making money there. Make sure that whatever it is you're selling is in alignment with what you believe. If you don't believe in the product, don't sell it. Now, number two, let's say you believe in the product, but you don't believe in yourself. You're not gonna be able to ask for money because if you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe you're worth it. At an unconscious level, you don't believe you deserve to ask for that kind of money because unconsciously, you don't think you'd be able to spend that kind of money. So because you have never seen that kind of money, let's say I'm selling a $2,000 product, right? If I never spend $2,000 at one time, why would I believe that someone else will, huh? I wouldn't. I would not be able to do it. So you need to get into alignment again unconsciously. You need to believe that you're worth it. You need to believe that people will spend money on your product. Now, another reason people don't like sales, another people, the reason people suck at it, it's because they don't believe in the product, so they project this idea that, hey, you should buy this product, and that comes off really sleazy. Like, when a salesman is selling you something, and you think that that person's really fucked up, that person's sleazy, that person's not cool, what you're, what you're really getting from them is that they don't really believe in the product, and they're trying to use every manipulative technique in the book to sell it to you. Like, if they're trying to sell you a used car that they think is a piece of shit, then obviously, obviously it's gonna come off like they're trying to scam, scam you or you know, fuck you over. Now, if you don't believe in your product, that's how it's gonna come off. That's why you're not selling. You need to believe in what you're selling and you need to believe in yourself. Those are the two factors that will make you have a much easier time selling. And the third one is your relationship with money. If you put money on a pedestal and you don't believe in you know, your worth, you don't believe that you can make all the money in the world, then what's gonna happen is that every time you go to sell, you're gonna have resistance towards asking for money. That's one of the biggest reasons people don't make money. It's because they cannot ask for it. You'll perform the service and then you'll have a hard time asking your client for the money. You're about to sell the product and you have a hard time taking you, you have a hard time taking money. Now, the reason again this happens is because you have a bad relationship with money. You don't believe in yourself. You have a bad relationship with yourself. Okay? Now the way to change this is by realizing that back in the day, we used to barter things. So if someone wanted uh, my service, I would trade them for food, I would trade them for something else. It eventually got so complicated because he would have to barter with nine other people that we created currency. And when we created currency, we stopped valuing ourselves and we started valuing uh, the money. The money is not worth anything. The money is symbolic of your service or your product. If you don't want to hire somebody because you don't want to pay them, then don't hire them. If you don't think you want to pay them, do not hire the person. And similarly, if you don't want to actually help yourself, if you don't want to be the person who's saying, hey, you owe me this much money, don't, don't do the work. If you can't ask for the money, don't do the work because then you're hurting yourself. You need to be able to ask for money and stop putting money on a pedestal. If you stop putting money on a pedestal, you're, you'll make a lot more money. That's the difference between me now and me when I started making money, right? When I started trying to work, I would not make money because I wouldn't ask these people for money. I had a hard time. I could not ask them for money. Now I can do it easily. So now I want to get into the sales part of this video. If you want to get really good at sales, you want to be able to sell anything to anyone, anywhere, anytime, then you need to understand a few basic principles. Number one, when you sell, you're not selling based off of what, you're, what you believe. You're selling based off of what the other person thinks. You see, a lot of people will get up there and they'll sell based off of what they think would make them buy the car, what they think would make them buy the product or the service. The truth is, there are gonna be some people that will buy it based off of what you think because they think similarly. But if you really wanna to sell to somebody, you have to get in their head, you have to get in rapport with them, you have to understand what they want, what they're looking for, and then give it to them. Take what they want, find their needs, find what they value, and associate it to the product or service that you're selling. Now, if I, now how do I get that, right? How do I get the information out of their head? Well, you know, listen. Most people don't listen. Salespeople like to talk a lot. Don't talk, listen. Listen to what the other person wants and then take what they want and associate it to your product. So there are three easy questions that I'm about to give you that will allow you to get the information you need from somebody and associate it to your product. Obviously you can go deeper, but I'm trying to make this as general as possible. Let's say I'm selling somebody a car, okay? I'll do the same for a service afterwards. I'll ask them, what do you look for? What do you want in a car? What do you want in my service, right? What do you want? Then they'll tell you, I want a car that's fast. I want a car that's a convertible. I want a car that looks good. And I want a car that'll get me a lot of girls. As an example, 
So I'll think about all the cars in my lot that can offer that. And then I'll take them to it and I'll be like, listen, this car is gonna be amazing for you because it can get you all the girls in the world. It's super fast. It has 500 horsepower and it has, it's cheap, it's affordable, and you'll be able to do anything you want with it. And it literally fulfills everything you're looking for. He'll be like, damn, done. Let's test drive it. He sold it. That's it. I, I, he got the car. Why? Because I took what he wanted and I associated it to the, to the car. When I sell people on what I'm giving them, which is self-help, which is the ability to change their mindset, to go after what they want, I ask them, what do you want in life? Well, I want to make more money. I want to have a better relationship. I want to be more confident. Great. Can I help someone with that? with that? Absolutely, I can. So what I do is I tell them, listen, let's do it. I'm going to help you. In one or two sessions, I'm going to give you the confidence you want. I'm going to give you the motivation you want and the ability to go after what you desire. And then I sell nine out of 10 phone calls because I listen to what the person wants and I tell them that I can give it to them. If I don't believe I can give it to them, then I have to either refer them to someone who can or I tell them I just, it's not, it's, I, I can't help you. Usually I can help somebody, but sometimes I can't. So I have to refer them out. That's why it's important to ask questions. You want, you want to make sure you're ethical here because you want to make sure that whatever it is the person's looking for, you can offer them. If you can't offer it to them, don't sell it to them. You're literally, you're, you're fucking them over. That's not nice. If someone says, I want a reliable car and you sell them a car that's a piece of shit and you tell them it's reliable, that's not ethical. It's not nice and it's gonna make you a sleazy salesman. A lot of people have resistance towards sales because they've all had experience with some shitty salesperson. Now, the biggest thing you guys have to understand is if you believe in yourself and you ask questions, you could sell anyone anything. If you have resistance towards selling, it's not because you don't like selling. It's because you don't believe in yourself enough. If you were able to sell 20, 30, $40,000 in 10 minutes and make, I don't know, five, $6,000 commission in 10 minutes of your time, you would love sales. The reason people don't like selling, the reason people have resistance towards sales is because they don't believe that they can actually sell. And when you don't believe you can actually sell, when you don't believe you're good at it, you don't want to do it. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment below, share with some friends, and make sure you subscribe for more. Now, if you're somebody who's looking to take their sales to the next level, to take their confidence to the next level, to program their subconscious mind to be as confident, as motivated, and as successful as possible, then there's a link in the bio, in the description. It's called dominatemyday.com. I have a program there called Dominate Your Day. Dominate Your Day allows you to literally reprogram your brain. Sorry, it's a client, so it's an alarm. It's an alarm for my client, I apologize. Anyways, dominatemyday.com, dominatemyday.com allows you to reprogram your brain to become more successful in nine minutes a day. So if you have nine minutes a day and seven bucks, buy this program, it's gonna reprogram your life. Literally reprogram your brain, change your life. If you have nine minutes a day and you want me to literally hypnotize you to reprogram your subconscious mind, that's what this program is for. If you're interested in that and you wanna go even deeper, let's say you, you wanna actually work with me one-on-one, -on -one, then there's a, a link below that. It's a Calendly link. You can schedule a phone call with me there and you can either get on the phone with me or someone from my team, depending on how busy I am and my schedule. Today's a super busy schedule, so obviously my team's gonna take all the calls today, but you never know, it might actually be with me. I'll find out what's going on or they'll find out what's going on and then we can schedule a session and help you dive deeper into sales, deeper into whatever area of your life you're looking for help with, whether it be your relationship, your health, your motivation, your confidence, doesn't matter. More than likely, I could probably help you out. So again, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.